water has always been a big part of my life. It has rippling outcomes of positivity. Ripples are represented by challenges, and a definition of ripples are small waves on the surface of water caused by dropping a small stone or a slight breeze. I have had the opportunity to take part in many water-related activities, from diving high off of a springboard for my high school swim team to scuba diving deep into a beautiful cave system and everything in between. I'm going to share with you today the impact of water on my life. If I hadn't embraced the ripples in front of me, I wouldn't be here, and I wouldn't have had the opportunity to compete in the Junior Olympics for synchronized swimming, scrimmage against the senior Argentina Olympic water polo team, or mentor my younger synchronized swimming sisters. Synchro, water polo, swim and dive, and scuba. I've done it all. By being an athlete for more than half of my life, I've had a lot of opportunity to learn on the way. Participate in an activity that makes you uncomfortable, and it might just change your perspective. When I was a lifeguard, I had the opportunity to take scuba diving classes from the Tampa Bay Police Department. I'd always planned on getting certified, but was nervous from the horror stories I had heard, from oxygen in your veins to your lungs exploding while trying to outswim a shark. When I was finally ready to get certified, COVID-19 hit. The police officers were on duty around town. And I had to patiently wait two years before getting certified, but I did, and it paid off in an amazing learning experience. I had the opportunity to dive Blue Springs. When we arrived at the location, it didn't look like much from the surface, so I wasn't sure what to expect. But I was still feeling nervous and excited. As we started to descend the cold, deep water, I was amazed by what I had saw. Gorgeous sculptures lining the bottom of the cave, and big, wide-open cave passages. After swimming through for a while, we decided to ascend to the surface to take a break before our next dive of the day. On our way to a safety stop, we had to stop here for a couple minutes, and we were soon accompanied by a very friendly cave turtle. He stuck around for a couple pats till we ascended to the surface once more. If I hadn't embraced the ripple standing in front of my scuba certification, I would have never had the opportunity for this new experience or made a friend. Take part in an activity that might make you nervous. I know I was with scuba, but I did, and now I had this amazing learning experience. It might be difficult, but challenge yourself to embrace the ripples in front of you. Take the opportunity to visit different people and places. It will pay off with learning their unique stories. With any new activity you participate in, there will be obstacles. When I was training for the Junior Olympics, I was often in the pool six days a week. In addition to our regular three-day-a-week practices, I would take one or two days of private lessons, and often practice by myself. This was pushing our physical and mental limits, but. The unique, the, the unique experience that the Junior Olympics provided was worth it. We had the ability to surround ourselves by people that we could learn a lot from, and experience these beautiful places. By embracing the ripples in front of me, I surrounded myself by powerful athletes, and got to visit beautiful places. I learned a lot from both of these things. Hard work will pay off. Pushing your limits while learning new skills. Will result in growth. With growth and confidence, and new skills for problem solving, you will excel. At the same time, I was doing synchronized swimming. I started doing water polo. This was a very new experience for me, because I had been used to being the only girl. Now I was only the, the girl. So I, the practice that I go to was co-ed. Like most teams, but very few girls swam. The boys that I played with were respectful, but they didn't see me as a strong player. This was frustrating for me because I had the skill, but wasn't seen as a good sport. As I stuck with water polo, I got the chance to do a masters practice. This meant I could practice with my coaches and other powerful female athletes that I could learn a lot from. On a normal day of practice. I walked on deck and saw all of these old guys, closely resembling my grandpa, wearing speedos. The senior Argentina Olympic team came to scrimmage with us. I felt fairly confident I could outswim them, and as soon as I got in the pool, 
I was proven wrong. I was pushed under the water and tossed around like a doll. But this was a very unique learning experience for me. By embracing the ripples in front of water polo, I surrounded myself by these powerful athletes, proved my strength to myself, and learned to never judge another athlete by their looks. Building bonds is important, but when you build bonds with your team that you bleed, sweat, and cry with, they're much stronger. These relationships carry in and out of the pool. When I was a junior Olympian, I was doing synchronized swimming practices. I had started synchronized swimming when I was seven. But there was this group of older girls on our team that were never really completely part of our team. I felt like I had to work so much harder to keep up with them. This dynamic made me feel like I couldn't keep up with them. I had to work so hard, but I still wasn't on their level because we were so separate. When I got into high school, I became one of these older girls. Because I kept with Synchro, I worked hard towards making our team have a better dynamic. By participating in small activities, such as tie-dyeing t-shirts with the younger girls, we were able to have a better bond with them. By embracing the ripples in front of synchronized swimming for me, I created a better bond and dynamic on our team while learning from my other synchronized swimming sisters, like I had hoped for when I was younger. Don't be scared to participate in an activity that you know nothing about or a sport that might make you uncomfortable. Don't be afraid to fail. You will learn so much from the people and places around you. Go make a move, take a dive, and build a bond. Push yourself. Go make some ripples. Thank you.